Jesus. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs. <laughs> Sorry if I sound sick, but you already know what time it is. Go ahead and say it with me. Banger. Time for another banger. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah. And then it pans to Brody Arm over here looking like he just hopped out of Sesh of Elden Ring. Then they got a boy Aquaman over here looking like a Timu Ares. So apparently these two are half brothers, same mama, but different pappies. So you know this fade about to have some underlying beef in it. Bro kept the word short and sweet, he fiending for this fade. Dude Arm jumps up, cocking that fork back like Zion in the ninth grade. And you can see Aquaman was not ready for such an animation. Look at his stance. Like nigga. If you don't bend your knees and get into an athletic position, Arm came down on Brody with the intention to grease his brother in one attack. Look at that Black Air Force energy coming off that mug, boy. But well, that junk got parried right along with this side right. Then dude must have held triangle because this overhead heavy was so predictable. Aquaman yeah. weaved that junk smooth as butter, my hmm. guy. And look at this. Goofy done swung himself off balance. <laughs> now he finna get turned into some fish fillet. Psych! Brody must be the younger brother for real, for real. <laughs> the try hard for us is stronger than this one. He got all spun out the parries, spinning the fork around, trying to give his Brody a taper. Had Aquaman thinking he wanted the number 10 with the falcon wing part on the side. <laughs> and then dude hit one of the cleanest weaves on the channel so far. Aquaman came through slashing, but Arm must have popped his sharring gun, cause clearly, he sees what's about to happen. He spin <laughs> off into a mean weave, boy. Got him looking like, hey bro, you must have not watched JJK. Who you think <laughs> taught Gojo that weave? Then he got up and Luke Kane <laughs> kicked Aquaman across his sternicus. After that, I knew this wasn't a fair fade. This nigga Aquaman don't have any older brother badges. Man's out here getting put in Mortal Kombat brutalities. And <laughs> let's just take the time to appreciate the cameraman in this fade. My guy been holding his breath for at least a couple minutes now. <laughs> Y'all have been dead. Arm got that hard Hall of Fame chase down activated and press Brody. He spammed not one, but three light attacks. And he must have missed his controller input. Cause why he out here spamming circle like we ain't noticed. Then you got Aquaman over here on Beetlejuice timing. Just hanging around. Head tail. Nigga forgot he was part amphibian and tried to hit that Superman flying single fist technique. Weave. And you know he thought he was cooking once he caught the fort and flipped Brody off one knee just to turn around and get caught with a Rey Mysterio signature move. Oh, I see now. These niggas ain't really fighting for the king of the hood. That's just a product of the real gold. These goopies are some milk men. Premium milk over here. Nah, I'm just playing. Hey, y'all better chill out though. I heard she was crazy. You know that yeah, boy Johnny yeah. was already on that. Anyway, yeah, crazy is an understatement. Yeah, y'all know what happened to Amber Heard. Y'all know what happened. Yeah, if you know, if you don't know, well, you're gonna have to research it. Boy, out here getting boom spine first into these rocks. Like, bro, fight back, nigga. <laughs> they head towards the Jogo Domain expansion, and oh, man's is getting cooked, <laughs> literally. But he hit that reversal, just stomp little bro chest in with that flawless consonant form. And while on down there, I guess he wanted to get some film for the MLB. Damn, threw a chunk of lava at dude. But Aquaman swatted that junk away like Shohei Altani. Get that boy a contract. Now these fools flying at each other faster than the hair leaving LeBron's forehead. Damn. And Aquaman got that. I'll be danged if I get beat by my little bro look on his face. Then he speeds up even more. They both clash noggin' first, and that jump sent concussion waves throughout the whole arena. Even the crowd got hit with the remnants of that head, but but they like, hey, bump it. We ball. Subscribe to God you so. Hey, you heard him. Go ahead and hit that butt. But it switches back, and of course, Arm dragging Aquaman up the side of this wall, cranium first, giving him that straight Broly treatment. Matter of fact, we were broken his Aquaman status until he shows us otherwise. We're going to call this nigga by his government, Arthur. Arthur gets his tail drug up to the top of this statue <laughs> just to finish the fade. This junk giving me Final Valley vibes, except this is a one-sided evisceration. Dude done got swept off his feet and his helmet done popped. They must have gave dude that Minecraft chainmail armor with that <laughs> B-tier durability. Arthur weaved the first yeah. heavy, but we all know armor button spammer. So he came back with another one. And that mug had Arthur back in the early 2000s. Bro trying to hit the stanky leg. He tried to get back up, but Arm is spawn trapping. His intimidation badge is on one bow wow and slammed him straight back into that Kaepernick. I guess third time's a charm though, cause Arm takes the high ground 
and slice it straight through Buddy's fork. Now he's gonna swim up and start emoting. He like, is this really the heir to the throne? This dude Bob is like when he's the captain now. And right before he could chop man's down like some chopped cheese, Katara showed up and third party broke. Ah, wait. Guitar. That's just the milk lady. Man, that's weak, boy. You better go ahead and training arc or something. Three weeks later. Bro took that L to heart and went to search for some new drip. Now that his brother <laughs> is the king, he know he gonna need some of that main character cheese. <laughs> Brody swam to the depths and fought with this Kraken, but he Damn. had to pull out that talk no jutsu, cause this calamari platter was not going. After that, hmm. he walked up to his late pops' sport and snatched that mug from his hands. Then all the him energy flowed through his veins. Got him thinking he in a Gatorade commercial. And with <laughs> that, he was ready for the rematch against his little bro. We get up to the new phase center and arm pulled up dripped out max prestige he even got the whale doing kick flips in the background like this is skate three you are not tony hawk and i brought all <laughs> your own timing look at him bro tapped in with eliante to get dripped out cody in that him energy he really trying to earn his aquaman title back and all the higher ups in the hood pulled up to watch the fade so you know this gonna be straight heat new forecom brother Nah, you just a low tier doodle bob. You're no king. <laughs> well, let's see then, little bro. I hope you learn some more combos. They run at each other and they going fork for fork with these tridents. <laughs> I bet y'all can't say fork for fork four times fast <laughs> without sounding like a doodle bob. Anyways, King Orm posted the fork in the floor and sidekick wow. Arthur across his abdominals. Oh, boy, Got him on the ground thinking he'll fly <laughs> and bro still <laughs> holding on to them MLB dreams and slung the floor at Brody. But Arthur was like, nigga, I told you. You gonna need some new combos messing Ooh. with me. And then he spun around and pressed Brody against the fan. Arthur like, I know you want that number seven special, but Arm resisted that weak old cut. If he would've let that happen, there would've been no more fish ladies for him. He would've <laughs> been left rizzless. Arthur flung dude across the body, and now he finally got the high ground for once. He tried to end Bro's career with that down smash. That mug was so lethal, he had to let go of the fork. But he caught that mug, and I guess something <laughs> stank, don't it? Because he gave Lil Bro that pooper scooper treatment. And Arm was like, hold up, nigga, I'm the king. Oh, no. Nah. And whack Arthur across the chest. Because he was getting clamped. No Patrick Beverly. Arthur took this moment to slide an emote in. Got his shawty over here melting in her britches. He yes. stood up and swung that fork into position. Ugh, I need a replay of that. I don't think y'all saw the him energy on that one. Ooh, boy. Man spinning go, shh, give it. He got to swinging that fork around, and I already knew what bro's pre-fade tune was. Arm over here like, is this nigga serious? Bro charged in on his usual doodle bobbery, do the spamming circle once again. And then oh, like, oh, him back, got him believing he can fly. But this ain't no Red Bull commercial, my guy. You got no wings. Then he landed straight on his back. Meanwhile, Arthur's still over here emoting. Brody said, shoot. Oh, you can't beat this move, huh? Yeah, it's up for little bro. Just as Arm ran back in, Arthur threw a fastball right there in his body, got him dazed, then started pressing him like the granddaddy from Get Out. He caught that fork midair, and I know this animation looks familiar to Arm. Our guy don't be spamming heavies. He hit that Simone Biles and shattered Bro Fork in front of everyone, and he stuck the landing in the rain. Yeah, applaud this nigga. He's moving diffy. That's a 10 out of 10 for sure. Jutsu Mafia certified. Got arm in the back to throw a temper tantrum. Arthur was just a late bloomer. Them older hmm. brother attributes kicked in a little late. Arthur stared him down and then hit the infamous skip step. Like he was finna boom little bro into oblivion. But then he stopped mid schlocking and told him, My name Aquaman. Bump you goofy. Shut up. Matter of fact, it's King Aquaman, nigga. Hey boy, these sea niggas was throwing hands down there in the ocean. Oh yeah. I'm finna just start pumping out a buku amount of good content. So comment some fights or vids y'all wanna see next. 5k likes and your recommendation might just be the next vid. Or the next one. Or the next one. Or the next one. Or the next one. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we out. Go ahead and say it. Cause you know it's coming. Okay, I'll say it for you. We are out. Bump it up, bump, 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 bump. <laughs> Juice Mafia. Hidden technique. Peace. All right. Awesome. Awesome recap, Jajutsu. Also, shout out to him for for a comedy one of my um one of my first reactions I did from him. His John his first John Wick reaction recap from him. Shout out to him, shout out to him. Keep up the good work with these videos. Love him so much. So yeah, that was a great recap. Um it's been a while since I've seen the first Aquaman. It's been a while. So I have yet to see the Lost Kingdom. I might be watching hopefully soon this year, so then before I watch The Lost Kingdom. So overall, 
Maze recap, man, because I did remember enjoying, really did enjoy the first Aquaman quite a bit. And I believe it's the only DCE movie to reach a billion dollars. No, none other than the first Aquaman. So, yeah, man, I'm definitely, definitely am very interested in seeing The Lost Kingdom. So, yes, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion on my reaction of Jujutsu's Aquaman recap. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and comment, share your thoughts. What's your favorite DCEU movie? Um, comment and let me know if Lost Kingdom is worth watching. You know, I'm seeing some very mixed reviews about this. And, uh... I'm going to see it myself very soon when maybe when it hits like HBO Max or so. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I I have my reaction of Uwa, Uwa Lulu's, if I pronounce his name right, Uwa Wolo's American Psycho Recap. So please stay tuned for that. I'm definitely interested in that.